a blissful 2021 to everyone. We are now in our second quarter in grade 3. This is also our second week of resumption of classes. Join me, your teacher Mercy, as we explore our lessons in English. Quarter 2, Module 2, Tenses of the Verb This module is subdivided into three lessons, namely, simple past tense of regular verbs, actions in simple present tense, and simple future tense. After going through this module, you are expected to form the past, present, and future form of regular verbs, and use the past, present, and future form of regular verbs in sentences. Lesson 1. Simple past tense of regular verbs. You will learn to form the past tense of regular verbs and use them correctly in sentences. What's in? Name the action in the pictures and write them on a separate sheet of paper. What's new? What time do you go to school? What do you do so you won't be late? Listen as I read the story and answer the questions that follow. Pass Forward by Leia and Bautista Classes will start late tomorrow. Sleek jump with joy. He said, I need not hurry. I'll take it easy. I have lots of time to get things done. So, he played with his friends in the yard. They talked and had fun until dinner time. Uh -huh. Slick's father said, Look at the clock's long minute hand. Fast forward, it goes. It warns us that time flies by fast. So do first what has to be done while you have time to do it. He cleaned the grandfather's clock, which chimed ten times. Slate did not listen. Later, he had to move fast forward like the minute hand of the clock. He worked fast on his homework to get it done. He had to get up early and dress up fast, hoping he would not miss the school bus. But the bus was gone, so Slick skipped breakfast and walked fast forward to school so he would not be late. Tired and hungry, Slick said, The lesson I learned today is we need to move fast if we just manage our time well and do first things first. Answer the following questions. Number one, what is the text about? Number two, 
Why is Snelik late for school? Number 3. What are the things that Slick has to do as a result of not listening to his father? Number 4. Are you like Slick? Why? Why not? What is it? Read the following sentences taken from the story. Fast forward. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. What do the underlined words tell? What part of speech are these underlined words? When do you think these actions happen? Remember, verbs are words that indicate action. Tense in grammar means time. Thus, tenses of the verb indicates the time when an action or event occurs or when a state or process holds. The past tense of the verb indicates the action that happened in the past. It is usually followed by the time expressions yesterday, hours ago, last month, or last week. Regular verbs form their past tense by adding D or ED. We add D when the verb ends with E. Examples Dance, danced. She danced gracefully last Christmas party. He smiled, smiled. He smiled at me. We add ed when the verb ends with a consonant. Examples Work, worked. He worked hard for his family before. Walk, walk. They walked from home to school yesterday. What's more? In a separate sheet of paper, write the correct past tense of the verb inside the parentheses to complete the sentence. To check what you have learned, answer the following questions in a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. What is a verb? Number 2. When do you use the past tense of the verb?
Number three, how do you form the past tense of regular verbs? Good job, grade three. And for other activities for this lesson one, visit your Google Classroom and I will pause it there. For a continuation of this module, follow the link in the description area below or click this next video. I am your teacher Mercy saying stay safe, have a blessed day, and goodbye for now. See you again class!